no, no, no. Open your mouth. No, I will no. hit it. Last hour. No, just open your no. mouth. No. Open I'm your gonna, mouth, I'm Gina. Show it. Open up the silo. Gina, you're Keep the hangar doors open, baby. Tilt back a little. Stop sending me pictures. Gina, we're on the air. <clears throat> Whoops. Uh, hi, welcome back to Attack the Show's Vibe Check. I'm your host, Gina Darling. Guess I'm, I said at least send it to my other email. Okay, it's okay, Gina. It's fine. Now we'll you get, like If that. I expose you to my body more and it will become natural and normal to you, the more you see it. Oh, gross. Hi, welcome back to Exactly Shows. I'm your or Exactly Shows Vibe Check. I'm your host, Gina Darling. Mm. And uh, we have, just ignore that conversation, okay? Ignore the conversation. <laughs> ignore us. Yikes. Okay, so uh, let's get to all the fun stuff. But then first, I have to tell you guys, get to our Discord, you know? Get yes. to our Discord. We answer your questions in there. We even feature your Photoshops in there. And then also yes. talk about Reddit, our, God, which I never know what graphic Call for the showing. Discord again. There's the Reddit. God, okay. Come on, guys. Keep up over there in control room. She still can't figure that out. Yes. Also, we really, 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 really like mail, physical mail presents specifically. So if you guys want to send us presents, mm. make sure you send it here. Oh. Mm. Yeah. You've been practicing that yes. for I literal have. weeks. Weeks. I'm so proud of you. Hours even. Oh, and it went away already. Okay, it's fine. But today I am joined by the ever so handsome, the sexy, the capable, the long schlong von Hugendong of our era. Thank you, Gina. Awesome. G. Will Neff. Oh, me. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm also joined by the total opposite of everything that I just said. Even the long dong sh <laughs> sliver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some G. Oh, man. Oh, good to be here. <laughs> and on the ones and twos, we have the prettiest one in the whole entire room, in this whole entire building. We got yes. Vanessa Goodhead. The face Hi. of the operator. Yes. Oh, I got an air horn? I Thank know. you. Whammy. Wow. They are showing you a lot of Jeez, love. Yeah, we are. had that. Wow. Gosh. So she gets all that? All right. Try and make the thing come up again. Okay. Let's see. Okay. All you right. guys want to send us some physical mail? For you or for me? For you. Okay. If you guys want to send us some physical meal, we have a PO box. You can send us stuff, perf preferably some food or something, right here. Yes. You <laughs> <laughs> just got duded. just got duded. Okay. So I, I have something that I want to talk about right now. Sure. William Elizabeth Neverson. Yeah. Liz you nearly gave me a heart attack. Yes. Yesterday. Yeah. A stroke. Yeah. An aneurysm. Yep. Is that why your face is like that? Yes. Mm. How dare you? Yeah. I wasn't winking. I, I was not winking at you earlier. That was just my that face. That was just your face paralyzed. Yeah, paralyzed. Yeah, okay. All right. So let me preface this. I was streaming yesterday and I was having a jolly stream playing Stray. I was having a great time being a little cute little cat. And sure. I get a raid by Will, which yes. is like, yay, raid by Will. So happy. Yay. Mm -hmm. And then powerful, I, powerful man to be raiding. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Thick, burly raid. Oh, it's yeah. a girthy, girthy raid. raid. All those viewers flowing right into you. Huge. Mm -hmm. Huge. All at once. All at once. All at once. <laughs> <laughs> and then I get a text. My, my, my phone pops up, says text message from Will Neff. I'm like, yeah. oh. That's says nice. you're welcome. <laughs> As he should. I got to start streaming. <laughs> you should. <laughs> you should. And then it says, uh, have a great stream. Also on the DL. Yeah. This would be the DL. So, so this is what happened on my end. Pumping this on the team. I wanted to let Gina know that I... Re I, 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 I we got to tell the story right. Okay. We got to tell the story right. Okay. Because yeah. I have to walk them through the emotions here. All right. Sure. I got a text message that says, have a great stream. Also on the DL, I am officially resigned at G4. Yeah. And my stream saw my heart shatter, yeah. like mm -hmm. shattered. And I told my stream guys, I just got a really, really alarming <laughs> message. I, I need to mute myself real quick. I mute myself and I blow up his phone. I'm calling his phone. He picks up after three missed calls for some goddamn reason. Picks yeah. up. And what's the first thing you say? What's your, what are you yelling? I don't remember at this point. Okay. I was walking Farley. My heart was shattered. <laughs> he picks up the phone and goes, oh my God, I'm so sorry. My phone autocorrected. 
Yeah. Resigned. Resigned. Yeah. So I, I tried to send a message Funny. that I had resigned and for another period of time at G4, and I put re space signed instead of putting the dash, and it auto corrected to resigned. resigned because it's spelled the same it, way. Yeah, right? it just pinched them. It just went. Oh, that's. And as soon as it happened, yeah. I was like trying to text Gina, resigned, not resigned, resigned. And she just immediately started calling me and I knew she was on stream. So I was like not taking the calls and I was like, resigned, resigned, reset. Hyphens matter. Will. They do. That's crazy. Cause I sent Gina, Gina a message. I was like, let me see your public hair. <laughs> <laughs> show me that public hair. Ducking. Show me your public <laughs> hair. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow I was not alarmed by that at all. It's yeah. actually a typical Tuesday for me. But yeah, so I nearly had a stroke yesterday and I was telling my stream like, geez, I had to take a lap. I got up and I screamed really quick because yeah. the, the emotions just it like if it was Casima texting me, that I'd be like, oh, yeah. don't even have the number saved. I don't even know who oh, just got it. Who just texted me. True. You know? That's crazy. man. Yeah, this was a pickup artist move. The way this woman treats me. I love it, and I'm used to it. <laughs> <laughs> so what you guys do this week? Anything fun? <laughs> Oof. Uh, well, oh. my team, the 100 Thieves, as you can see right here. Yeah. Um, it, that's a this right now in the 100 Thieves merch shop. Yeah, available exactly. Right now. Yeah, we won, uh, we won uh, Call of Duty Worlds. Mm. Oh, Worlds. Nice. Yeah. So what that means we play other countries. No. Okay. Other planets? Just like our regular world. No, 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 no. We just we just won the big one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We won the big one. Well, congrats. That's a big uh, Call of Duty. Is, is that the besides League of Legends? That's a big game. Yeah, it's that's a big, a big one, man. It's a big win. We beat FaZe. It's pretty cool. Dude, we had a nice I wish. Little, we had a nice little nosh together afterward. I wish I can say the same thing about the 100 Thieves Valorant team, man. Cause okay, dude. Yeah, All right, I, dude. No, okay. no, I'm not insulting you guys. I'm heartbroken for the Valorant team. Because Kiko's the best Valorant player in the world, who? and he's on our team, who? Who? right? What? This guy. Am I right? Sure. Kiko? Uh, I think he's on this team. Oh, Call of Duty? No, no, no. No, no, no. T Hundred thousand thieves. Anyhow, so my cousin ah. is actually a, a, a <laughs> my cousin's a player on the Hundred Thieves Valorant team, and. They went up against FaZe this past, and I am heartbroken for yeah. them. The 9-3 curse is absolutely real. Yeah. Um, but Kiko out, retired. Look at me. Oh, that egg on my face. <laughs> shout out to Derek, though. I love you still. Uh, he lives, my cousin lives with me, so I changed all the locks in the house. Oh. Um, he to has, punish oh, him. Yeah. Uh, he has a lot of 100 Thieves merch, so I'll be putting that on uh, Facebook Marketplace. Soon. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, because you, you got to train them up. No longer a lot of Speaking of train, how many men you live with? I live with two. That's it, huh? Mm -hmm. Now, ask me it's how many like, men. You say, speaking of train. In the train. <laughs> I just got it. Thanks, Joel. Have, <laughs> have you ever seen the movie uh, Snowpiercer? I sure have. Oh. <laughs> I sure have. Yeah. <laughs> is, that what, is that what your life is like at home? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, not with my cousin. He lives with me. That's gross, but. No, that would be, uh, that'd be the, disgusting. The other. God. Nibbler? Oh. I thought that was not the a, other man you were referring to. Listen, I may be a whore. Oh. But I am not a monster, Nessa. That's right. Nibble is your son. That's fair. My goodness, Nessa. Yeah. Keep it together. Yeah. What about you, Cass? What did you do this week? Um, you know, it's I watched that movie Prey. Yeah. Oh, did you like it? I saw. Uh, it. I did. I thought it was a great movie. I also tried to uh, take it easy as much as possible because we had a long week. We did. Yeah. We had a we had a shoot where we had to hike. We were in the mountains. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah. Well, more on that tomorrow. Tune Whoa. into Attack of the Show. Did you find Whoa. any ticks on you? No ticks, but there was. Uh, we are at the top of this mountain, and I, I look down and I just see all these little creepy crawlies. What? And I'm like, oh, one of these little uh, little love bugs. What are these? Uh, what are those? What are those animals? Roly polies. Roly polies. Yeah, pill bugs. bugs Slide bugs. Uh, love bugs are different. Those are in Florida. And I, I go down and I see, I'm like, oh, these are ticks. Oh, and no. there's not just a random one or two. They were literally everywhere I looked. There was a tick. Uh, oh. And they're on the, the tips of the tall grass. And then I walked by one and one got on my leg and I had to flip it off. And we were in the middle. And I'll be able to speak about this tomorrow uh, a little bit. But one of us was 
in the middle of just this giant bush with barely any clothes on. Oh, and God. Uh, and the ticks were were like, "Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Where are all these ticks? I didn't even know there was a tick thing." In we had t- we have ticks. I don't know. It must be tick season. Yeah, Not it's sure. this is the time for it in California, and it's like pretty bad. So if you're yeah. hiking or walking around in brush right now, like yeah. check your ankles, what? Check, check, check your dogs, check your folds, check your dogs. Folds. You never know. One can hide somewhere important. Ew. Yeah, yeah. Wow. it is a disgusting little creature. Yeah, we used to have ticks big time in New Jersey. It's an East Coast thing. It's big it, time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I didn't know we had ticks in, in big time in deer California. ticks. Over oh yeah, there. big time deer ticks. A lot yeah. of my friends growing up got Lyme disease. Yeah, poor guys. <laughs> no, a lot of them. Are you serious? Like five or six. Isn't yeah. that the one? Now that they can also- only survive in a corona. <laughs> Oh, Corona and Lime. I got it. it. Took me a second. Now I'm upset. I can't believe I'm you so done upset. This. Why are you? Why? I can't why? believe you. This is the worst. <laughs> this is the worst vibe check ever. What have you done? Oh, my God. Did you get bit at all? Nah. No? Nah, I'm all good. Now, we're used to blood suckers all over. My blood's too spicy. <laughs> yeah. I might want to get that checked. Is that supposed to be spicy? <laughs> it's a number eight. You know, on the menu at your family's grocery store. Oh, got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In the gr- yeah, yeah, yeah. And which item was that in the, on the menu, Kasim? It's number eight, uh, and it's got the biohazard symbol right next to it. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go on a break so we'll uh, HR can give us a talk. HR, I can already hear HR stomping down the stairs right now. We'll be back. Uh, don't go anywhere. Unclench your jaws. Drink some water. Un- 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 you know, just loosen up your shoulders. All right, be right back. Love you. Hey, welcome back to Vibe Check. It's me, Gina Darling, with my host, Kasim G and Will Neff, and then That's my prettier me. host. All right. Vanessa Hello. Hi. All right. Look, I'm going to let you guys take the reins on this one because sure. Gina doesn't watch anything. Tell them, baby. Tell them about the first episode of the rehearsal. Go. Well, what is a rehearsal, uh, Will? Explain it to the folks. Well, Nathan Fielder's new show. How do we describe Nathan Fielder as a comedian to the layman? Oh, man. Nathan Fielder is something that it's, it's hard to explain his level of brilliance. You kind of just have to experience it for yourself. Um, he is like a neurodivergent comedy genius. And uh, the, the rehearsal is a show that very simply uh, is about practicing for real world events by creating elaborate rehearsals. But uh, the description falls well short of what he actually accomplishes with his program in what I can only describe as comedy magic. The level of preparation that goes into each one of his episodes and each one of his bits is very akin to like a high level illusionist preparing for uh, like a, a, a street magic performance or like a, like a David Blaine mass illusion. Yeah. Um, and, uh, it's, it's incredible and you can't look away and it's cringe worthy. And at, oftentimes you're, you're shocked at what Nathan is able to con- able to convince people to do on his show. Absolutely. He's, he's probably one of my f- top three favorite working yeah. comedians right now. His brand of comedy is so, uh, my S it's just so oh, what I like your jam. Yeah. And he does, we'll put it perfectly. I mean, he's what he's doing is, um, it's like performance art. Yeah. Uh, but also he's not, he's doing it in a way that doesn't make fun of anyone. If you people are sort of like outing themselves in a way, but he's never really like poking and like getting a laugh in a mean way. Yeah but he's getting the best laugh and the strongest laugh. And, and, and it's um, so amazing that this show even exists. I think without having the success he had with Nathan For You, I don't think this show no. gets made. No. But thank God for shows like Nathan For You, which is a similar vibe. Um, but this show is something entirely different. And it's exactly what Will just said. He just gets people to rehearse big moments of their lives. Just the premiere episode is just he's he's going to get um, somebody to uh, admit something that he's been a lie that he's been carrying for the last 10 years to a friend of his. Hmm. And so Nathan essentially 
goes through the rehearsal of getting it, of what it would look like for where will you be? What will you say? What happens if they say this? And um, it's probably one of the best 44 minutes of like yeah. TV oh, I I've ever, ever seen. It's incredible. We actually have the trailers of the first episode. Let's, I want to see this because yeah. I, I want to I I check this out. This sounds interesting. All right. Do we have it? We have it. Let's I've been go. I told my personality can make people uncomfortable. <laughs> hey, I don't make love all night. Oh, uh, well, you know. I think we're going <laughs> to get along pretty well. <laughs> but I've learned that if you plan for every variable, a happy outcome doesn't have to be left to chance. This conversation's going pretty well. Yes. So that's no accident. <laughs> Everything that's happened today, <laughs> I've rehearsed it. Hey, hi, hi Nathan. Hi. Dozens of times. Uh, in a replica of your home. What? <laughs> okay. What? We do what? For you, you and you. Wait, is this like just real reality? Head, yes. Sure. Yeah. Or Let's script? Go. These are actual people. This is real. Oh, fun. it will be. That's the best part of your it. rehearsal to reflect reality. The government has Sasquatch liaisons. I love you, Daddy. Okay. <laughs> if your performance isn't accurate, you could ruin someone's life. This is wow. all sort of absurd. Keep them crying. Don't let up. Okay. I gotta tell you something. I don't want to talk to you again. Do you find it's been healthy for you here? Mm. Are you sure you want to do this? <laughs> I don't really like lying to people. You're a liar. Yeah, neither do I. You're Willy Wonka and I'm Charlie Buckets. I'm the bad guy in Well, I but he's a dream maker. Okay. And you're doing, you're making some dreams happen for but me. But kids died in the factory? <laughs> uh, supposedly died. I, I'll, I'll read the book again just to, to, to look into it. How he does not break. Yeah. Ever. It's a gift. It really is. Is insane. I've only seen him almost break one time one time and it was on Nathan for you in which that guy admitted to drinking urine. Um, yeah. It, it, and it, he literally just went, Puh! yeah. Okay. And that was the one time. And it was in, because in, in this season, there is a very brief one too, when he comes in and the, the mom asks him, who's that? And the baby goes, like this. <laughs> and you see Nathan go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, okay, is anyone well, so, else not terrified? So, okay, in, the, in that trailer, so this wouldn't be spoiling it because he says it in the trailer. Um, he goes, I recreated your apartment. Yeah. So he it, it opens with him meeting this guy. Like, he's coming yep. over and he's meeting this guy. He's like, actually, I've rehearsed this many times. And remember last week when you had the gas inspectors come over to your house to look, uh, search for, you know, the, the gas leak? Yeah. And he was like, yeah. It cuts to uh, a week earlier, Nathan For You's crew is in his house, like, LIDAR mapping his yes, entire, entire apartment house. and completely mapping his apartment. And then they built a full-scale model yeah. of his apartment in a, in a warehouse so he could rehearse and even down to the books that were in yeah. his bookcase. And then they find out where he wants to make this apology and they make a full scale replica of a bar in Brooklyn yeah. down to like the nth detail. This is like a balloon that's stuck in the bar ceiling. Is, yeah. Oh my God. They yeah. found that balloon. Yeah. Okay. Have it to ah. the same inflation stuck in the same well, place. Okay. Kind of creepy. Uh, respectful, totally. respectable. I mean, and 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 actually, kind of cool. And I really want to learn how to do this because you like should my watch level, it. Kind of creepy, but that is terrifying. And yeah, genius. you've never seen anything I, like it unless you've seen right. Nathan for you. I I have a suspicion and a fear that the second wave of people who watch this show, because I think it, I think the people that watch it and like it can't stop talking about it. I think the second wave of people that watch this show might hate it because it is so smart. Yeah. And it is so well done and it is so cringe inducing yeah. that I think it will go over a lot of people's heads. I couldn't watch it sitting still. It was, <laughs> yeah. it was a yeah. lot of like <sighs> oh like I was on the edge of the couch. I was I was like this. I shake like, my legs. It is I like so, clench, it is so difficult to watch. It oh, is so difficult watch to watch. That's how I feel about um The Office, the first season and how awkward Michael Scott, Michael Scott is. Yeah, I couldn't sit still and watch it. It just stressed yeah. me out so much. Now imagine if he was a real dude. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Amongst yeah. real people. Yeah. So now, like, this, yeah. this gives me an idea because, like, how easy was it for him to get 
just random people to go to this guy's house and just scale out his whole house. So in a, in an, in a recent episode, it's very funny. He kind of has this very meta moment where he, <laughs> he is rehearsing as one of the people that he is recruiting for the show but he kind of goes through the moment where they get you to sign all the paperwork. And he's like, what's all this paperwork? Should I read this? There are a lot of legal terms. Everyone else is signing it. And you're, just, you're just like, oh my God. I've been trying to figure out how he's been able for both Nathan for you, but specifically for the rehearsal, find people that can buy into this idea of having an entire thing rehearsed and they just go with it. And I've noticed that the common denominator for most of these people is that they have a little bit or a lot of bit of conspiracy theorists to them. Yeah. And I think that when you're someone that inherently believes that there are hands at play that people don't know about changing your life a little bit every day, that you're more susceptible to clicking into that in this sort of sense. Yeah. Well, it's Truman show. Exactly. What we are watching is the live incarnation of the Truman show. So if I wait long enough, and I just hired an actor to come over to one of your houses and sure. pretend to be like a guest, whatever person, then I can also get a full scale model of your house. Well, you'd have to get them to sign something first. The electrician dude? Or no, the, the person whose home they're coming into. Oh. Like that's the real magic is Nathan gets them to sign away all this their is rights. Oh. Entirely possible. I once tricked a friend into filming their own prank where they opened up a glitter bomb by telling them that it was a release form for a game that I was having them play test. You are a monster. Wow. <laughs> wow. And they didn't read the fine print because nobody does. And it was just, I'm going to blow up a it glitter does. bomb in your house and film it. Oh. Wow. I would fall for it immediately. I sign everything without looking. That's how I'm here at G4 for the next yeah. 16 years. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, have never have to, your firstborn. I never have to oh, resign no. or resign yeah. ever. Which is more toys, Will? Yeah. Either version of the word. Yeah. You're it's here fine. Forever. It's fine. I want yeah. well, So, where's the show on? HBO. It's on HBO. It's currently in the fourth episode. The most recent episode has made me, without spoiling anything, I've had to run up and down the hall uh, at certain points just because I. <laughs> I can't, but also it is deeply compelling because there's something kind of lovely to the fact about human nature that we're all dumb, dumb. Like no matter mm -hmm. how smart we are, we are all dumb, dumb. Mm -hmm. It, it truly doesn't matter how smart you think you are. All of us dumb, dumb. And I think that's maybe the biggest charm for the rehearsal to me. So, okay. I, oh, this is on HBO. Chat, can you give me your HBO login and password, please? Don't you don't have HBO. I don't watch things, Will. You know this. I watch like one Just movie a decade. Roll and <laughs> yeah. animation and that's it. Speaking of Crunchyroll, Chainsaw Man. My body I am is so ready. excited. My body is ready. I want that post I'm caught up on the manga and yeah. now my body is ready to go. If you haven't read Chainsaw Man, it's very fucking good. Yeah. That's right. Our Love resident uh, anime uh, master is here. Yeah, I'm working on my review of Chainsaw Man right now. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah I'm on the, the fifth book and uh, oh. the yeah, end, almost done with the first season. And I think it's great what uh, the main character should, should do you is up to. And uh, oh, I think it's very accurate. That's not their name. And uh, would love uh, that's, for that's, you guys to check out the review when it comes out pretty soon. Hey, Cassim, what season of Initial D are you on? Which, I'm sorry? What season of Initial D are you on? Oh, I'm on f stage five of Initial ah. D. Stage five. Where there is no American dub. And yeah, I listen to the American dub. Listen to me, you sons of bitches. <laughs> All you guys that are giving me ass because I listen to the English dub of Initial D, it is better to watch something in your own language than it is trying to read subtitles. Because you know what's going on when I'm reading subtitles? I'm missing the action on the screen. You get me? When I can understand I, that stuff's happening in the background and I'm absorbing that piece of art as intended, as a whole, in its entirety. When it's subtitled, I go, this guy sounds crazy. And I'm reading? No, thank you. Kasim just can't read. That's the whole, like, you could have just said it in one sentence. <laughs> Guys, I can't read. Okay, listen, but honestly, though, I'm going to get flack for this, but I, I do watch dub a lot of the times. Why do we have to get flack for it? There's a big it's sub better. dub thing. No, Why we speak English to each other? Why wouldn't we want to watch a cartoon in English? Yeah. It's a purist thing. And it you is. want to know where it comes? You know what I think it is? It's a remnant. It's it's a remnant. because It's initial, the gatekeeping that keeps no, regular I, guys listen, like me out of anime. I, I get it with initial D. I think 
older animes do have really poorly done dubs that yeah. sometimes hurt the, the meaning of the show and you lose a little bit of like of, of like you lose a lot in you can hear actors phoning with in. with older dubs i think with, except with Golden newer Boy. dubs yeah yeah except for Golden. <laughs> oh <laughs> i i think i think you would love golden my Boy, queen probably. actually i'm watching golden boy next that's really next on my oh, anime like, reading list i think newer yes. dubs are a lot better. I think newer dubs, you don't lose as much meaning, and I think they get better voice actors. There is one exception to this rule, and it's Cowboy Bebop. Cowboy Bebop. Because you want that Steve Blum. Yeah. That is Spike. The superior. Hi. The I'm is, Spike like, Spiegel. I can't sit still when I'm watching things. I always got to be doing something. Otherwise, like, I can't. Yes. So I, I don't have time, or I can't, like, look and then do things and then try to. So I get it. That's why I watch dub. Yes. And I get S for it all the time. It's, uh, here's, by the way, the, the dub in initial D, I prefer. Yeah. Okay. I, the voice of Takumi, the main guy is like way better to me as the voice of Takumi than the Japanese. Wow. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to start. Yeah. I don't give it. You think I give it ass if you guys come after me? I don't care. You think I, I totally give it You're ass. anime people and I, I'm not. I'm better than you. I totally forgot, Kasim. I write regular cartoons. Kasim. Yeah, you, you're 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 five into initial D stage five. Yeah, you're an anime person. Don't own. Oh, no. Castle, what shirt them? are you wearing under that? You thing? have a don't. initial D diorama on your. No, nope, can't. Don't do. It's illegal. Legal. I have. I do. I am wearing an initial D. Yeah. Guess what, kid? <laughs> Here's half of it. Guess what, kid? <laughs> you're an anime person now. Okay, so now I realize I totally forgot. What have I become? <laughs> Since you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Bless you. <laughs> oh my gosh. In there. I completely forgot. Now that you're in the initial D, my friend owns a Fujiwara tofu shop here in, in LA. El We've been Monty. trying to go. Are you yeah, serious? we were yeah. going to go like two weeks ago, but they were closed. Let oh, let's go. People yeah. bring their cars. Let me know. That's let's all go. You can flow. hop into my car instead of taking uh, your POS. Wow. Why would you do that to her? Whoa. Look, it just came I, for her neck. My little Honda is strong and capable. Okay. I drive a Buick. If there's one thing we know about Initial D is that it's not the car, it's the driver. Yep. So How did you get great. this for the 8.6? Yeah. It's like gold. We'll be right back. I'm going to take them, but we'll be right back, everybody. J don't run too far because mm. we got something mm. really special mm. we want to mm. show you. Uh, Kasim and I went on what I thought was a camping trip and he thought it was a date. It was not okay. I was going to take her to the back. Grand Tetons. <laughs> <laughs> This had, I can't do it. And we're back. It, it happens to everyone. I can't do it with them. I can't hear myself. I get low energy with these. Oh. Take them oh, off. Really? Okay. We can do that. Well, then I Take have, no, it I have, off. I have control in my ear. Yeah, you, you I, have control. I have to have them You'll on. Know, yeah. By the way, they just ran a poll that I just saw. Hmm. Yeah, what's better, the sub or the dub in an anime? And it's I mean, uh, overwhelming. Sub. You guys said the sub. Which is funny. You know what you guys are? Oh boy, here we you go. guys are dweebs without the D. Whoa. Weebs. I'm a weeb. I you my, are officially. I'm a, hit harder. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a, you guys are. No, Cass, I'm officially what a weeb. Diorama, did you uh, build on your desk? I read my hentai. Huh? Yeah. What? My, did I just hear my favorite H word? Yeah. Oh, you know what I'm getting into? Hentai games on Steam. Yeah. Pretty fun. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, a yep. formative experience. Yep. We should feature this on X Play and bring me and Will in and play hentai games. I you still get worried seconds. that my girlfriend will walk in while I'm like, <laughs> 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 while I'm in the middle of a date, on, like in a hentai dating sim. <laughs> she just walks in. Her oh, favorite oh, dessert oh, is ice cream. Oh, oh God! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, what, what were we saying? Oh, right. Uh, before, okay, look, we're, we're still, we were talking about cars during the break, yep. and Will and I, and I mean, a lot of us want a freaking NSX. Yeah. I want an NSX so bad. I would yeah. wrap that metallic rainbow, mm. or metallic iridescent pink. Oh, yeah. It'd be Ugh. beautiful. You guys are what's wrong with everything. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Okay, I okay. drive a Porsche. Okay. I drive a Porsche. Oh, I, I drive a Porsche. Pinocchio. The Germans got it figured out. Some stuff they got wrong, but cars... They got right. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm a Porsche guy. Speaking of smoke and fires. Um, yep. Hmm? Gina. What? 
Oh, we went camping. Didn't we? Yes, we did. We went camping. We uh, we actually were sent a BioLite camp stove and the kitchen set. Yes. And we're gonna do um, <coughs> gadget prawn. <coughs> oh, gadget prawn. We have the box. We're not allowed to s- call it gadget prawn. Oh, we have. The we're prawn. not allowed to call it gadget prawn. Not yet. Till it, not until it's official. It's in its baby. Whoa! Whoa! That yeah. thing looks pretty dang cool. Pretty cool. And, uh, we got this. They sent us the, 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 um, there's two pieces to it, right? The full cooking kit and. Well, there's a few pieces here. Now, normally you can get just the uh, camp stove. This comes with the kitchen set, which includes a grill, the French press coffee maker. Um, and boy, did we use this in 95 degree heat yesterday. Yes, oh, we did. Is this going to have volume? This video? No, no, there's no volume no, this here. Volume. This is volume. just, um, us. This is like how they have product demonstrations, yeah. except this is, you know, as you can see here, uh, I was collecting twigs for it. It's manly. And so manly. Uh, Gina was doing nothing. Yeah. Um, so yeah, support. as you can see, it comes in a few different pieces. They all pack together like a little Russian nesting doll. Oh, and it makes for if you guys are camping, it makes for something that tidies up, uh, real small and neat. Oh. It's about as big as a Nalgene bottle when it packs down. As yeah. big as, as a big Nalgene bottle, exactly. It's a great way to put it. Oh, like the the big Tom, Tom Brady's water bottle. Absolutely. Yes, that thirty two ounce. Yep. Uh, it's there. Okay, so there's a bunch of features. There's a uh, you can charge your phone on it. There's lights. Uh, it has uh, burn sticks and wood scraps. So you can use some pellets. I I, c- I can't help but notice that you're using subs instead of dubs on this video. Yeah, that's that's true. We are elitists. Oh, okay. Yeah, we are purists. Sure. So absolutely. Um, and we decided we would cook some. Uh, Marshmallows. Okay. In the high gear. Now you might be like, well, how much power does this really put out? This thing is. Uh, what's the cost on this, Vanessa? Uh, let me double check, but I believe it was one fifty for the actual BioLite. One fifty okay. for the actual BioLite cam stove. Now the cam stove comes with a um, this little yellow piece here. That is your battery charger. It's your uh, thermoelectric piece that plugs in. Um, and it can even charge your phone. It has a little flashlight attachment to what? it. What? Oh, yeah. And yeah. The camp yeah. stove is 150. The it full charges is your phone? It charges your phone. It's a three watt charge, which is kind of low, but it is better than nothing if you have nothing available out yeah. there. Yeah. And the actual fire is what powers up the battery. So what? It's incredible. Yes. It's actually dope. It is actually really cool. There's a fan inside that sucks in all like. So clothes. you're telling me. Oh, if I got a live streaming backpack, that's right, and I'm running low on power, yep. mm-hmm. I can bring this cooking stove, spark it up, and keep my stream going. That's right, Is that what you're doing? You could spark Absolutely. that effort up, get some wow. juice. Wow, what? Absolutely. Um, and and that thing burns. It burns hot. Oh my god, it's amazing. One thing we had to kind of uh, figure out was like the balance of like twigs yeah. to because once you turn that fan on, there's like uh, a low, vortex. medium, and, and high. Yeah, it, it really pumps, but it does burn through your fuel quicker. Yeah. So we actually ended up using some of see now you can see some of <laughs> we did this wrong, by the yeah. way. We used too many uh, we we turned it up and packed it too tight, filled with sure. twigs. Yeah. And what we should have done is oh. use less twigs, put more of the pellets pellets in there and uh, now here we are boiling some water oh. to make some coffee. Yeah. Now I am a little bit of a pyromaniac and yes. this looks like a good time. It is a good time. Oh, God. Um, a quarter cup of By the way, gave us an hour of fire. Oh. I fit 53 marshmallows <laughs> in Gina's giant mouth. <laughs> Trust me, if you think you're a whole lot of man, she is more mouth than you. <laughs> what? What? And what does this uh, have to do? Okay. Okay, look, we no, people want to like know. Out, I would like to point out that when it came to the cooking, mm-hmm. it was all, it was mostly Kasim. So here we are, we're putting the pellets in. Um, this is us trying to figure out, two idiots trying to figure out how to correctly make fire. Here's the, light, the light, and it fixed immediately as soon as we figured it out. As soon as we figured it out, which was very quickly and easily, it was uh, going on for no, a while. Uh, <sighs> and that was me charging my phone. And here's hot water boiling. Honestly, Again, it's 95 degrees out. Yeah. It was the best French press, like outdoor French press that I've ever used because normally Wait, it comes with a French press? It, yeah. this, this kitchen uh, kit comes with the French press. By the way, the only thing, the only thing I need to make sure I have when I'm out uh, camping is coffee and this solves that. But not hazelnut. 
Never. Not, I, uh, I would never use a flavored bean. Oh. Sacrilegious. That's John asking for some coffee and me giving him some. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it actually made a, a, a pretty decent cup of flavored coffee. <laughs> But you know, also, guess what? It has it. a grill. Oh, yeah. So the top of that grill that I uncovered is actually a cutting board. And then you just place the grill thing on there. And then there's a little lid so you can keep... Well, mm -hmm. Here's Gina recreating her childhood at me. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then that little <laughs> lid lifts up so you can fuel the fire more. But then if you close it, it spreads the heat across an even surface. That Why did we... Oh. Just a little... Just a little... Glizzy Why did we include that? Wasn't that fun? We, we grilled hot dogs, we made coffee, we charged our phone, we had a light. All in a very small, compact design. It did exactly what it was advertised to, and I wish they sent us more of these, because I would love to have one. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. By the way, if you're a brand out there, like a Yeti or like a, a hand spray or some other- A Dyson. A Dyson, and you want to send us a product and you want us to test it on our show, we would love to do that. Um, we yeah. are slowly trying to integrate more of this stuff in because as a fan of the old G4, I did like the gadget prawn segments a gadget lot. Gadget you know, I'm a propeller good. head myself, you know, ex Best Buy employee right here. Right here too. And right there Geek as well. Squad, baby. You so know what you guys need? That. You guys, we need to reach out to the litter robot. What's the litter robot? The litter robot. I want one so bad. Oh, dude. I Is think that one it would of those change big my life. Round things mm -hmm. because. What is it? It's a robotic litter box. I have one of those. Uh, oh. uh, my, my girlfriend has one of those. And it, Here, it, it, it looks like the Death Star. It's amazing. Oh. So I got yeah. the first gen. Yeah. It was cool. Mm -hmm. And then they just sent me the second gen because I sent nudes. And it oh. is, uh, the second gen is amazing. It's way quieter, way prettier. Mm -hmm. And like it's Wi-Fi connected and like Bluetooth. And is everything. it just now, as big? Now you said something small. that's hmm? baffling to me. It or it will. Wi-Fi connection. Oh, Wi-Fi connection. Yes, yes, yes. Because it'll, it'll let you know when it needs more boop. It lets you know when Kitty has gone to the... So that's the older version. That's Gen 1. Now oh, I thought this was Gen 3. Mm -mm. I'll put up a different one. Yeah. So... So it tells you on your app when your cat went to the bathroom, mm -hmm. uh, when it's rotating, and when the thing needs like to be dumped out. Puts it on a graph. It plots your plops. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry, what was that? Wow. Yeah. It's actually freaking dope and it doesn't smell. If you had a bidet that pl plotted your plops, would that be interesting? Would that be a feature you'd like to have? No. I would sign on to that account so I can know whenever Will's. Uh, you know what I wish oh. for? And this is going to be kind of gross. I wish there was something that told me how long. Uh, how long of a, was? of a piece I had? Oh, going that's just in. a ruler. Because baby. then I would try and I would try and break that record. Because what happens is when you look between your legs, it's already down. It's snaked down the drain. You don't get any sort of. Sometimes they coil around the outside, but not normally. What I would like is some sort of laser measurement that scanned it as it went down past that line. Go. I have a eight legitimate inches. question. Yeah. Do you feel proud when it exits the water? Exits the water? Oh, like when it's sticking a little head above the water like a Loch Ness oh, Monster? Yeah. Yeah, it's been a while. A little since. Nessie? We call that the, the Nessie. Yeah, you call that the, yeah, mm -hmm. little uh, plesiosaur sticking its head up mm -hmm. out of the, mm -hmm. the surface. Um, no. <laughs> is this too disgusting for you, Will Will? Yes. You're telling me you wouldn't want a, a laser measured, beautifully double tapered piece of feces. <laughs> Sent to your inbox every morning? No. Like I said, I would yeah. sign up for that newsletter for all my G4 hosts. Right. Yeah. And I would I want to, you know, keep up with all your movements. Wow. Congrats, Will. You hit a new record. Yeah. Wow. I would text you in the morning like, oh my God, Will, good job. Right. I am a very private bathroom user. Oh. In fact, I still don't admit whenever I'm going to use the bathroom. What do you say? I say I'm going to wash my hands. Oh. Uh, I just say powder my nose. You? I Nobody just, I don't, I'm not, a, I'm not a fan of it. You know yeah. what, that, you, I appreciate that because. Uh, I don't want to watch you or anything, dude. I just want to know what your, your you graph want, says, man. You just want a laser scan I just want of my fecal matter. Measured to the micrometer of how long it is, color, size. Camera. Corn. Wow. Camera, mm -hmm. stick a camera in there, you know. Just saying, man. Everyone's anyway. So, did you guys know that everyone's butthole wrinkles are different? It's like a fingerprint. Anyways, we'll be right back. <laughs> 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 oh 
Oh god. Okay, here we go. Hi. Hey, welcome back to uh Vibe Checks. Uh, Attack of the Show's Vibe Check. It's me, your host, Ian Darling. Hold on. Get in here. I can't believe I botched that throw that bad, Will. Yeah, you. I mean that grab. You, you kind of had a involuntary reaction there. You, you led with your leg. Will threw something at me to catch, and I kicked and grabbed at the same time. It was a f- foam football, by the way, and yeah. you panicked like I was throwing a knife. <laughs> so legitimate thing. Um, no one's ever played catch with me. What? <laughs> I had a brother that what tried. A loser. Uh, and Just then kidding, he was, uh, okay. That's why my brother was like, I can't do this with you anymore because I kept turning my back to it. Um, <laughs> oh, you're one of those. You dodge it. Yeah. yeah. Um, we're going to so, test this theory. Test it out. All right. Vanessa coming in hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she God screamed bless. and then put her hands out and the ball went right through the basket. God bless. <laughs> oh, oh no. Where was dad? Uh, he was at work six days a week. Uh, we work at G4. We're a bunch of nerds. We don't sports. Are you I kidding? Think we seriously just need to have like an entire you day. You did the baby hands. I baby hands yeah. and then I screamed and then I looked down. I think we just have to reparent me. She's a <laughs> She's Someone said, like, don't throw so hard. I loved it. It was, I'm not going to lie. I had like six seconds to figure out what I was going to do. <laughs> I don't, I don't want know your life. Do we need yeah, like a, a. I don't want your life. <laughs> we need a G4 parenting segment on attack or something because I never learned how to ride a bicycle. That's crazy. To Nessa me. never learned how to. I mean, no one ever played catch with her. So I never like learned a, how to do taxes. If That's we it. all got together and tried to give parenting tips, we could send one very lucky child to prison. <laughs> yeah, put that effer in juvie and forget about it. It's probably true. It's true. Can we do gifts now? Yeah, okay, listen. So we got a bunch of gifts from you guys. You guys sent some cool stuff to our P.O. box right here. Thank you so much. And we got gifts. So we're going to open up your gifts. And Cassim yes. wants to open yeah. his first. Me, so me, bad. Me. I want Cassim's gift really bad. What me and it? Vanessa have been slobbering all over this bag all day. All over those nut rolls. Uh, yeah. This says, Cass, candy for the candy boys. Some bite-sized salted nut rolls. Anybody have a shot glass handy? <laughs> Why do all your names sound so creepy and perverted? Will the Can team partake of Cassim's bite-sized salted nut roll? This is from Crap Lord Bastard Man, <laughs> who I know well. Thank you, Crap You've Lord. You've said these are delizios. I'm ready to try. Okay, this I gotta take my retainers off. My absolute favorite candy. This is my number one candy. I ask for it every year for Christmas. Um, I also Just received take out a retainer. Crap Lord a second here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right. Uh, door. Wait, throw one to Vanessa. Oh, God. Throw one to Vanessa. Redemption. <laughs> <laughs> one I- more. <laughs> yeah! Well, you know, did she catch any of them? I caught one. Oh, she got one. Okay. One out of three. Thank oh you. Oh, my God. It's so sticky. It's so sticky. Okay. Pretty good? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, God. You break your fast for this? Dairy texture extravaganza. It's like wow. a baby Ruth. They are salty and sweet. Wow. You know what? Oh, these are two biters. That's a good nut roll. Oh, yeah. Right. I learned how to play catch for these. Mm, good nut roll. All right. Go ahead and open yours while I snack on two of these. Oh, yeah. So I also got something from Crap Lord. Thanks, Master. Crap Lord. So Crap Lord sent me maybe one of my favorite things in the entire universe. Okay. That is a copy of Gremlins 2 on VHS because I threatened to rob someone for it on the Discord. Wow. Gremlins 2 is maybe one of my favorite movies in the entire universe. Bam, 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 <laughs> bam, 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 bam. It's nihilistic. It's incredible. I love that it implies that a gremlin has sex with a human man at the end. Mm-hmm. Um, it's one of my favorite things that Joe Dante has ever done. You know, there's a big gremlins rumor circulating right now. What? Big gremlins rumor. What's the rumor? We might get a gremlin in multiverses. Oh, oh my God. How cute. That would make me play multiverses immediately. Yep. I love the gremlins so much and specifically the way joe dante did the entire sequel is such a commentary on sequels itself i this makes me so happy thank you so much i can't wait to see all the scan lines on it oh yay okay mm, that was really nutty who's next i'm next uh, i got a <coughs> you choking on a nut brother oh god i got that nut in my throat open the throat okay open the throat yeah it's been a while okay my note says 
Here are some accessories in your favorite color. If you guys are going to do more cons and expos, then you might need them. Since you have excellent taste in cars, I added something extra from Mike P. Keep it flashy. Keep it flashy, Mike. I got a... Oh. Nice. Oh, Oh, Gina. Oh, wow. Time to answer that age-old question. Can Gina have sex with a backpack? Oh, (laughs) yes. Yes, she can. I can make anything happen. I bet she can. Oh, yes. Absolutely. It's a cute little backpack. Look at this. That's actually really cool. This is so cute. Uh, Minus the anime on it. Let's get her up on the Sibian. Oh. Oh, my God. He's so cute. Is that the same guy? That's Tengen. Mm Mm-hmm. Of course. Like that's Kassim, the one she ate last time. There's the thing, Kasim. I am so in love with him that if you cosplayed as Tengen, yeah, I may actually look at your direction for longer than five seconds without wow. throwing up. Well, that's how powerful he is. Okay. Okay. Yeah. This is from what anime? Uh, Demon Slayer. Yeah. Oh, of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 He yeah, is yeah. a polygamist in yeah. Demon Slayer too. Three wives. Whoa. All smoke. Oh, I was gonna say a spoiler. Never mind. Mm. Oh, that is Lamborghini Countach. This is my dream car. Yep, a Diablo or a Countach. Now, if this we were going to grade that dream. packaging, I'd give it a uh, <laughs> give it a sixty-five. But <laughs> the actual car itself is in good condition. This is probably the probably the closest I will ever get to owning a Countach. So thank you. That's I true. Love you. That's true. Oh God, I love Vintage. Ding! You got a whole gaggle of stuff. I am very loved. Well, Outside. you also ask for gifts every time you're on the show. You say, gifts are my love language. It's the only way I feel love. I love getting gifts. My birthday happened uh, some week or month ago. Uh, yeah. Please send them to me. I need to have gifts. Send me gifts because I'm a good girl. Send me gifts because I'm a bad girl. So, yeah, you got gifts. Yeah, exactly. Okay, good. So, you, if okay. you have to ask what you want or what you like. You ask for it because Absolutely. you won't get it otherwise, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. See, you asked for dumb crap like candy. I didn't ask for candy. Crap Lord Bastard Man knows that I'm a sweet boy as a sweet tooth. Mike P. also sent me something as a thank you for helping with pandemonium. Oh, oh, a lanyard. Oh, my God. Lanyard. What's and that I for? That is, a, is that for your prison ID? Yeah. It may not, oh. Oh. A gift for you, for everyone, for everyone, for everyone. Oh, that's where that went. This is for all of us. Open oh. It. This is a, this is oh, a fair I'll one. Open it up. Will, go ahead and get those man hands on that. Back. Said, I want to send don't. y'all a boomerang ball for Vibe Check, which I'm watching right now, but it couldn't be delivered to the P.O. Box, so enjoy the best sour candy instead from Bishop810. The I don't know. best sour candy? That's a big well, statement. I'll be the judge. That's a big that. statement. I don't know if your name is... There you go. Thank you. How is it? I want you to feel it. Is that sour, Chasm? No, no, no. Open your mouth. No, I will no. hit. Sour. No, just open your no. mouth. No. Open I'm your just, mouth, Gina. Have faith. I believe in you. Open oh, up. Okay. Here I'm, comes a missile, baby. Eyes, just close your eyes. Open up the silo. Gina, you're Keep the hangar doors open, baby. Tilt back a little. Oh, one, more, oh, one, more, one more, one more, one more. Okay. Keep your mouth open. Hold on, Gina. Give me a shot. Give me a shot at it. Come on, open, open wide for daddy. Open, please, sesame. <laughs> Put it that way. Look at me. Open your mouth. Here we go. Ready? Oh. Okay. Hold on. No. Just, I got two more. Loving <laughs> it at me. That hurt. <laughs> Okay, all right. Guess if you put that thing on a line, bro. <laughs> Frozen rope down the middle, right down Gina's front too. Guess I'm just fucking Peyton Manning that. <laughs> that was a Gina's spiral. Top a lip. spiral. It went to knuckle to tooth to top lip somehow. These are pretty good. Also, uh, Mike oh, P right. sent me this mug uh, for helping with pandemonium. Thank you, Mike oh, P. Oh, that's Whatever. nice. I got you. Uh, yep. See? You see how great it is? That's how you do it. I throw so well. That's how you do it. I caught it. I, well, it's I stay, harder I stay when you have your still. eyes covered. I stay still, and you just got to launch it in my mouth. Okay. Now, will you I have a gift, too. Sweet. <laughs> will, you got something pretty sweet in it. Thank you, Mike. I got you, Bishop. a preview of this one, and it is incredible. It's my very own Whoa. SNL best of Will Neff on Attack of the Show. Action features, no. tough daddy commercial, taming the facts, bear, bill scruff safety taps, safe, blah, 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 blah. the sour candy's doing this to me. Farley the dog cam, Will Neff, straight scooter, Billy Nosh. Hold it up. 
That shit's cool. Show them the back. Very cool. Highly detailed. Does it Highly actually play? Detailed. And who said that? Uh, this is from Clobberin' Time, who has a history of creating. Oh, that's sick. Great items. That's yeah, crazy. There's Billy Nash, but there's no also Billy Nash. Well, there, well, there? well. And then we also have the tape. Is it actually, can you actually play it? Is there anything that on That I don't know. That's amazing. I'm going to put this in a VHS well player. That is well done. And what? see if it's Debbie Does Dallas. Dude, that's <laughs> sick. Hell yeah. Uh, Thank you for the kind words about Sonic Game I sent a few weeks ago. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is the guy that did the Kasonic Sega Genesis case. Uh -huh. I also love the segment Two Minute Fan that you put together with Will in April. Will's passion for things he loves is genuinely infectious. And I think... Uh, you see that mirrored in the wonderful community G4 has created. This is incredible clobbering time. Thank you so much. I will read the rest of the letter later. That's You're dope. awesome. That's Everything so cool. you have made has been very incredible, and I can't wait to put this on my, my bookshelf. That's very cool. Yeah. I hope there's like an 80s porn on that tape. I do too. You know? I do too. And then it cuts to like a wedding video because someone clearly taped over their wedding video. I can tell you if it is, there's usually a lot more wear and tear on the tape. Oh, yeah. From all the rewinding. That is actually something that I look for when I collect old VHSs. Like if I have a horror movie that I know has boobs in it, mm -hmm. I'll see if I can find one with the most scan lines from somebody rewinding that scene over mm -hmm. and over again. Mm -hmm. I have a very coveted tape of true lies in which specifically that striptease scene is just destroyed by scan lines by the yeah. previous owner. Wow. Do it slowly. Yeah, Do he's got it. the recorder. Do so. Yep. I love it. Okay, I I, like, I remember like back then you guys remember like the VHS players where you had to like, what is it? What's that that thing you had to twist to make sure that you can? Yeah, tracking. Watch adjusted tracking. tracking. Yeah, yeah. God, we were so old. Uh, you specifically. Me Do you guys know that Cartoon Network turned thirty years old? Absolutely not. Oh my God, I'm saying it's just Cartoon Network. Cartoon Network, baby. Gosh, and you know what Cartoon Network doesn't do? No. Sub no. their cartoons. We're going to go and have an existential they crisis. Do <laughs> Be right back. I'm, we're going to go on a quick years. break. Oh, God. My wrinkles. I can feel them. Yes, yes. I will put you inside. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Attack of the Show's Vibe Check. It's me, your host, Gina Darling, the totally normal person that didn't say anything creepy at all. Hmm. Let's talk about your mom. Oh, um, lovely woman. Freya the walrus keeps sinking boats mm. and we love her for it. Right, Nessa? I have been captivated by her since I first heard about this story. Uh, she, I don't know exactly how much she weighs, but uh, she needs oh, wow. 20 hours to digest her food. Same. And uh, oh, she wow. does not have ice I, I, icebergs to lay on and they tried building her a decoy float and she doesn't want that she wants expensive boats and she keeps oh. sinking them she's a boozy bitch look at her i love her she is 1300 pounds yep she has sunk several boats and inflatable watercrafts mm -hmm. um they uh, a floating platform away from the boats was installed but she prefers sinking very expensive boats while she sleeps on them I mean, how expensive is that boat? Let's be honest. This is probably one of the smaller ones, but I believe there is a... That's our warm-up boat? This is a, this is a warm-up boat mm -hmm. for, uh, for Freya. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a couple different videos of her just sleeping on a boat and sinking it, and firefighters cannot get her away from it. <laughs> um, and maybe one of my favorite details is that she needs 20 hours of sleep, uh, and the crowds are now bothering her, so they're encouraged to just let her sink the boat and go away. So, like, do you get, like, walrus insurance for this? Like, what are you supposed to do for your boat? Hmm. I don't think hmm. that that's something that specifically exists, but if there's a guy selling it, he's making a lot of money off of a walrus right in, now. In that specific area only? Yes. In the world? Yeah, you know, the problem here is that she doesn't have a, uh, there's another, another a man in her life. Oh. For her to uh, shed some of that weight. I'm saying she doesn't even need a man because she is living her best life and chilling on expensive boats. Like that is a if, spring well, break dream I for most college like students. No, she had a mirror. Freya will try and sink the wrong person's boat and they'll shoot her. That's right. Oh, well that just got really, that's, right. that's probably how the story will end. Right. I, I think you, <laughs> I don't know. It's probably. in Norway, like, or Sweden. Oh yeah. Then I'm going to countries in which they have a slingshot. <laughs> 
It's one of the countries where they like salt her meat and let it air dry for six years before they put it on a baguette. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, and now we're on front page talking about you. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're on the front page. Listen, uh, hi, quick, hey, uh, listen, front page people. Clean up your act, Will. <laughs> Sorry. How's it going? Welcome to uh, Attack of the Show on Vibe Check, where we sit around and talk about. Your we were just talking course. about the Trump raid in Mar-a-Lago. Well- <laughs> Vote for who you want. Uh, I don't care. <laughs> also, exclamation mark Q to send your questions in, because I definitely didn't just make several of them accidentally go away. Oh, God. Uh, okay, hold on. Exclamation mark Q in the chat. Submit your questions. We need questions because we need some content. We need to yell at you guys. Because Vanessa for- accidentally hit refresh. But Oh, boy. That's uh, okay. I, we, I did read one uh, that I managed to screenshot before sure. it went away, and that one was from Evil Games Online. Do you think Baby Yoda was a ripoff of the Gremlins, and you have a Baby Yoda behind you for a demonstration? Oh, I don't know. I don't think so at all. All right, let's do a comparison. I'm going to pull up a... No, of Mogwai? Maybe of like the... the I don't want to fuck a gremlin. What? what about the girl one? I'm sorry, Nessa, hold on. We're not going to gloss over this right now. What was that? The difference is what now? I was just saying, I, I, one of them I don't want to have sex with. And it's not the girl gremlin. Don't want to have sex with a gremlin. Now, Grogu on the other hand? <laughs> That's a baby, sir. That is a child. He's 50 years old. <laughs> That's enough for that little thing to know what it likes. That's like the Japanese anime dudes are like, no, she looks like a kid, but she's actually a thousand-year-old goddess. Absolutely. You thought you liked bone broth. (laughs) (laughs) Wait till you get the real thing. How did it get worse now that we're on front page? Welcome to the front page. I dropped a choice F bomb for that. (laughs) Oh. Oh, hang on. And at the end, it is implied that she goes down on someone, a human man. Yeah. Uh, the science of that, I'm not entirely sure of, because I don't know if that's a water or a food in question, but. Oh, I got to tell you, the mouth on that thing. <laughs> she's driving me nuts. She's Listen, wrestling my jimmies. Was this your breath. sexual awakening when you were a kid? Hmm. Was this your sexual awakening? Gremlins? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, look, I got to tell you, I, I was into some weird stuff as a kid. Oh boy, here we go. I vacillated between uh, little small furry creatures. Yeah, Gadget from uh, Rescue Rangers was probably my awakening. Yeah, just hold, watching her hold that wrench and just twisting. You know what my sexual awaken- awakening was? Tell me. Uh, what was that vampire movie with? Interview with a vampire? No, no, no. God, that was the Damned. Oh, oh yeah. my God. Was that? Yeah. 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 Wait, I wasn't would, that I would interview be, with the vampire I, Lestat or no? Uh, maybe. I think he's. I think he's in a few. I would the guy. throw three yards of his poop just to get to that butthole. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Sometimes I think that you say the most horrifying Lord. thing, and then you say another horrifying thing. Yeah. Uh, and then I need to emotionally reset. We uh, we th- we've had to do a lot of resetting today. Yeah. This is like finding out that Gina was conceived on Thanksgiving all over again. Oh, uh, yeah. Tell them about that. How you figured out how you were made. So uh, my birthday's on July twenty fifth. Sure. Why would I care about what happened in the past? I'm always looking in the future. Seems like forever ago. And then my chat uh, determined that I was conceived on Thanksgiving, and then I had the horrible realization that my dad's birthday is on Thanksgiving, so I am a birthday baby, and my mother got turkey basted. You were the stuffing. Uh, You're a hand You were the stuffing. (laughs) (laughs) Vanessa had the line of the day there. You are the stuffing. Thank you. Oh, boy. I want to be stuffed, not be the stuffing. Oh, oh man. I was telling Kasim I have a receipt that is proof that I was conceived after an El Torito brunch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> My dad ah! sprung for the champagne, and uh, then he went out of town for four uh, months, so that is literally the... Only time it could have happened, and I found the receipt in my pocket, and my mom didn't have to disclose that. She could have just said, oh, that was a nice day. But she did the math in her head and was like, that's when you happened. Wow. It's so strange when, like, you grow up and your parents start treating you like an Up here. adult, and they just, like, talk to you normally. Like, I remember one mm. time my stepmother told me. You got a great ass, kid. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that, that what your, uncle? your dad yeah, said? Is that what your uncle said to you, your dad said to you, or what? No, just isn't that how you speak to kids when they get older? Um, <laughs> this feels like what an AA meeting feels like. There's a lot of sad stories and 
Hey, front page. Uh, She's got a great ass. I pray to God that we are not there. Is that Pacino? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jerry. Said, uh, did Papa Darling get gobble gobbled? Jeez. This is a low point for us. Uh, Listen. We need more sugar. I was talking to my stepmother one day. And sure. she's like, you know, we had to um, start doing our own taxes, not let your aunt do it. Because my aunt was an accountant. I was like, oh, why? She's like, it got really awkward because one day uh, your aunt texted us. What? Your aunt was an accountant? Yeah. So she was a count aunt? Uh, 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 uh. But, um, my, so my mom said we had to stop letting her do the accounting because she texted us once and said, uh, what is this charge for adamandeve.com? And for those of you who don't know, it's a sex toy website. We all know. They know. That's where you're going to get the most lube bang for your buck. 55 gallon drum you're going to get for under $100. Okay, you saw that one Amazon Prime Day where they were selling the 55 gallon <laughs> yeah. drum yeah, yeah. on Amazon Prime Day. I remember that was like the best story. Mm-hmm. One of the best deals on Prime was that you could buy an industrial, like Toxic Avenger style yeah. drum yeah. of lube. Yeah. Yeah. What are you supposed to do with that much lube? Fill a child size pool and fight. Mm hmm. Yeah. You get Gina and her sister. I have in no an idea. Inflatable that, pool. That's that the that sentence. You never heard of like lube wrestling? Yeah. Yeah. No, no. Like I heard of it like back. You gonna the- buy a bunch of individual bottles, or you gonna buy an industrial? What are you gonna use? You're cream right. corn that oh. can get old and what nasty I- and grow mold. Or what was I thinking? Right. A bunch of uh, the inside of glow sticks into it. You have exactly what they use for the xenomorphs. Oh, is that what they use? Yeah, it's KY and glow stick. Oh. oh, well, like the actual insides of a glow stick, and then they mix it together, and then it makes that like glowing slime. slime if you it. have a, a a romp rendezvous with a man, and you mix it with glow stick, will you get this? Will you get the same effect? You will get a UTI again. Will you snap it and shake it? <laughs> you will get a UTI <laughs> again. Again, I just finished my last round of antibiotics yesterday. Yep. Again. Again. Just a punch card. Sensitive little guy you got down there. I know. I know. Just, he's got any allergies. (laughs) 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 We've got a snort out of an F. Let's go ahead and replay that. (laughs) Nessa, do we have any more questions? We do. Uh, Oh, I can't read that out loud. Um, Oh, my God. It was just here. Oh, real Mr. Fishblub would like to know who's going to play catch with Vanessa now. Oh. I mean, Kasim wants to be a dad so bad. So I feel like... I would love. Practice. I'd love. Yeah, uh, get you a catcher's mitt there, sport. Yeah. Maybe we could go out back after the show. Teach me. I feel like you'd actually be a great dad. I think so. I actually would be. Yeah. I feel like you'd be like the dad who's so dialed in, and then as soon as the kid is out of earshot, you'd say something to <laughs> remind everybody you're cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say something hot about her as a hot mom or something. You know what I would, uh, how I know I'm going to be a good dad is I've already researched strollers. Oh. Oh. Yeah. What's Our, something someone should look for in a stroller? You want something where the bassinet is uh, got a utility behind it. Maybe that bassinet pops out to a car seat as well. Oh. Adjustable. So as they get bigger, you know, um, you want leather wrapped handlebar and you want all terrain tires. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing this? Where we're going? <laughs> you roll yeah. Where we're going, baby? <laughs> Seen from the Untouchables, just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Pure Scale Nine wants to know: G Four Survivor, who wins? I mean, Will or Gina? It would come down to or them, Gina. and one would have to backstab the other. Yeah. Well, I would. N- I Will would, would eat you a lot. I would lay down day one and just off myself. Are you kidding me? I'm not uh, dealing just, with this. This is just Survivor, the show, not like. Gina kills herself on the first day of the Survivor TV show. Day one. (laughs) I have never watched Survivor. The director's like, guys, uh, before we shoot today, I just wanted to let you know that one of our contestants, (laughs) Gina Darling, actually (laughs) killed herself. (laughs) She thought this Uh, was a You could just quit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So uh, just be safe out there. Have a good day shooting. Jeff Prost comes out. (laughs) Jesus Christ. She the didn't first really challenge yet. was for pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I've never watched Survivor, and just the name itself makes me feel like it's something that I would. Good not news enjoy. is we got Pokemane coming in to fill our spots. <laughs> yeah. 
They can't tell the difference. <laughs> I'm glad Both you Asian. said it. <laughs> Adam Jimenez wants to know, what kind of phone is everybody using? Say it out loud really quickly and then we'll go to commercial. iPhone X Plus. I don't know what kind of iPhone I have. Fill in with a brand oh, that pays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Okay, that was a terrible front page conversation, but stick around, front page. We'll be right back. Uh, yeah, leave. Go away. We don't want you. We're saying cannot be held against us in a court of law. Let's go back to our small group. <laughs> and we are back. Dirty Willie and the boys in the morning. We're about to get you up on the Sibian. That's right. We're going to see how long it takes for her to soak through that 10 gin plush. Oh, dude. <laughs> God, it's like dropping a sponge in the ocean, Will. Are you are you kidding me? Chasm G on the soundboard. <laughs> can you can we just do can we make a fake morning show? I would, I would love, love to do that. I need a good Ooh. name. I need a I good see. radio host. Dirty Willie in the gang. Yeah. All right, guys, listen, we got a wing eating competition. We got six women. The woman who eats the most wings gets a free boob job. <laughs> No I've man. never had one of these. Just swallows, just swallows a whole drumstick. <laughs> oh my God. Samantha, no, you gotta chew. <laughs> All right, nice. we're gonna get paramedics for her. <laughs> Ooh, we lost another good one, Will. <laughs> oh my God, I need to see if we're still on the front page because that is. You guys, okay, hi. Welcome back to Attack the Show's Vibe Check. I'm your host, Gina Darling, and with me I have Kasim G, Will Neff, and Vanessa Guerrero. And now it is time to check out our Discord because you guys yep. have sent in some Photoshops of us, which are, oh God, I don't even want to see them. Ooh, but join our Discord right here. We answer your questions on our show, uh, on Attack of the Show, the show. And also we check out your Photoshops. So, Nessa, what do we got? Pull them up, baby. All right, let me show you this first one. Pull them up. Oh. oh. Okay. Is that I, a black guy? There's a camera yes. right in the. <laughs> I can't see. I can't see anything. So this is a uh, Kasim and uh, Black Cat, and I can't recognize that. At Scarlet the Witch. Is that Scarlet Witch or is that Silk? It looks like Silk. It also looks like in the style of a heavy metal comic. Why is yeah. your head so huge? Why didn't they make it smaller? Did Greg Horn draw, draw this? There's a lot of butts. I'm assuming it's Greg Horn. It's real nice. That's really. Um, this uh, is, uh, that is a nice drawing of this Gina. is a drawing that uh, okay, I gotta get some perspective wanted for aggravated assault perpetrator considered armed and dangerous on Monday July 14th a female approximately 30 to 65 years old of age <clears throat> was observed standing at the intersection of 145th street at St. Nicholas Abbott the female was wearing a G4 TV t-shirt officers allege that suspect appeared to be on the lookout suspect fled to parts unknown when approached suspect is believed to uh, associate with other knife wielders in the vicinity. Police believe that suspect may be in the gang database. Suspect is wanted by her family, friends, and neighbor. They... I'm impressed you can read that from across the thing. Uh, thank you. I like how the sketch artist even signed it for us. <laughs> it's nice of him. All right. Well. Okay, that's Gina as Krang. Krang. <sighs> the faces. That's right. <laughs> I guess it's oh, Gina or <laughs> That's good. Oh! Now that is a very special episode of Hey Da! Featuring. That's Will's new show. Dude, that outfit is coming out soon. This okay. would be, uh. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, accurate, accurate. That is me spilling my food after I, sp I see these four incredibly attractive people. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Great ass, kid. Oh, you got a great ass, kid. You're getting a lot of mileage out of this photo. Apex pervert, which was coined by Vanessa last week. Oh, oh you. God. There we go. Yeah, after gadget prom. Yep. That's how I roast right. all my hot dogs. There you go. You're welcome, BioLife. And ex husbands. Oh. And, uh, this, this is, is cute. Oh, cute. that's Sierra Austin and I. These are your outside of work friends. Yeah, those are my IRL buds. I didn't know we were allowed to have those. Thank you guys for the photoshops. I mean, when I say thank you, I don't really want to thank you. You know, that last one actually brings up a chat question that I just found interesting. Sure. Uh, False Prophet 93 wants to know more baby strollers and carriers on Gadget Prom. 
Yeah, send them oh. on. Oh. I would love, not unlike Nathan for you, I could be a dad for a little while, send a stroller through some stress tests. That'd be great. Put a little robot baby in there. Oh, stroller stress test. Yeah. Billy Nosh would be great. Stroller about. destruction derby? Oh. oh. And then, yes. And whoever's baby loses the least amount of limbs wins. You heard it, producers. You heard it in the room. It's called Daddy Day Care? Question mark? Do they care? Daddy Sometimes. I heard Daddy, do they care? Stomach acid. There we go. Daddy, the mic. Care. <laughs> there we go. Stroller destruction derby. I like the sound of that. That's right. That's genius. That's right. And any chance for me to beat up a baby, I'm down. Oh, okay. Like I always say, if they can crawl, they can brawl. Oh, I've never heard that rhyme. <laughs> You were undefeated. Undefeated. That's right. I've beaten up so many babies in the Destroy my life. those little shit. My cousin is actually in labor right now, and right after work, I'm going over there and I'm just going to wait. Giving birth to your next opponent. Yep. That's wait right. Comes out. Just train him up. Again on the way out. <laughs> yeah. The Dark Knight wants to know uh, any hosts see Sandman yet? I know Kasim has. Mm -mm. Uh, yeah, I've watched the first few episodes. I, I, I mentioned this in the uh, in the pre. What, what do we call that? The, the preview pre show. show? Mm -hmm. Uh, the pre-show. I heard it's shockingly not bad. It's not bad. They've just, they made a choice with the aspect ratio. The, it, the show's like a little distorted and oh. it's kind of funky and it, it is a oh. choice. I think if I can look past it, there's a, there is a, a pretty well acted, well written show for me. And maybe I'm just because I'm an idiot, but the comics were kind of hard to get into. They were a little dense oh. and I, and I have them and I have read them. I just like never find myself wanting to go back into them. I know okay. there are diehard Sandman fans that would uh, string me up, but I do think this show is a, a much more accessible um, way to uh, take in Sandman as a story. Uh, yeah, okay. Quantum Tunneler asks, will you read this question? The answer, yes. And this question, Highness sure. Splinters wants to know, summer eggnog, great idea or excellent idea? No. Eggnog is disgusting. No, 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 no. Eggnog is disgusting. I don't know I've, how people... I've talked about this many times. I think I've talked about that like right here in this maybe room. Maybe the first yeah. vibe check. That along with cutting leather and torturing small animals a sign that someone is definitely a serial killer mm -hmm. is that they drink eggnog outside of the holiday season. Yes. And there are a percentage of people that do this. They're year round noggers. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. I hate those. No, I, I anytime you're drinking nog in the heat, that's phlegm, baby. That's, that's just a no cup good. of phlegm. Yeah. I just don't understand eggnog. It's a cold, well, it's a cold weather sport. No, I get it as a holiday tradition, right? Oh, we all get together and, and eat and drink things that are awful. Totally. Right? We do the same thing at Thanksgiving with certain dishes and you know, that this is something that we do as a people. Yep. If you find yourself doing summer nogs, no. You're psychopath. Yes, you're deranged. Heelblood 98 wants to know, uh, has anybody been to the Magic Castle and I'll start that with i have because for a year of my life i was very depressed and i dated a string of magicians wait what was the question say a little louder yeah, though Vanessa, castle? So the people oh! are, a string of magicians you said every single front page huh. person needs to understand this about you you've done everything in los angeles and and outside of los angeles i'm sure but you've done every single thing there is for a person to do you've experienced everything including the sad Including, including the sad stuff. The Did a magician stuff. ever pull anything out of you and say, is this your card? Okay, Please I actually requested Have it they ever? No! Mockery of their profession. Oh, uh, what a prude. I know. What a, a prude. balloon artist, too. How can I make a what? mockery? Wait, wait. Life is a mockery. You, what? Sorry. Hold on. Let's back this bus up. Beep, what beep. exactly did you request? Please get the words as close to as verbatim as possible. I am your boyfriend, Gump. Would it be cool <laughs> if, let's say, when you unzipped, instead of what usually comes out of there, um, if it was a string of handkerchiefs, I just think I would be delighted by that. Wow. Um, and I meant it. And he said I was making a mockery of his profession. Um, but also, if your name is Blaine and you're a magician, like... David maybe... Blaine wouldn't pull a string of... <laughs> no, like, his first name was Blaine. Ah. Um, and... Uh, he wouldn't pull a string. I just thought it would be cool. It would be cool to see that sometime. For and once, some effort. 
And uh, instead, uh, he said that I didn't respect his career. We actually saw a magician in San Diego. We did. Blew our minds. Yeah. Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah. We have never been the same ever since. Oh, he was, he was pretty impressive. Yeah. I would love some sex magic, though. Ooh, right, like I want that him. Like. I want uh, him to did, do like the hand flares when. He I mean, can you imagine mid fellatio? Yeah, he just right pulls after, your body apart. Right after, <laughs> right after you achieve orgasm, he comes away and then queen of diamonds. <laughs> or, or <laughs> he finishes on your back, <laughs> and then he's like, "Oh, you think it's on your back, but no." Snowballs it out of his own mouth. <laughs> oh. Can we, just, can we just talk about me having sex with Grogu for another? <laughs> We've gone off. <laughs> Jesus Christ, guys. Now that's a real mind freak moment right there. Mind freak. <laughs> Tell me you wouldn't be impressed. I would. Yeah. When did oh my God. When did that change happen? When did the attitude era of magicians happen where they went from like very flamboyant Liberace Velvet looking guys to, to, to like leather dressing like guys affliction. who ran through a hot topic? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was uh, early aughts. It was, uh, Chris, that was the early aughts? Chris Angel was the tip of the spear. Yeah. Yeah, it was Chris Angel, David Blaine, because they, they would do that thing where they would... Stare directly into the camera the what entire the time F? without yeah. breaking. Because uh, I think before that, it was a dude whose name was like Richard Burton. I know way too much about magician history because, again, when you date a string of them, I they feel like, talk at you. yeah, I feel like uh, you kind of dove into that briar patch, though. I am going to the Magic Castle in <sighs> a few of. weeks and I'm going to ask every magician if they know a person named Vanessa Guerrero. And is your name Blaine the one that won't pull? Okay, she's Blaine's a, not there because he's not good. Penny Lane, like <laughs> band aid of magicians, uh-huh. like I a famous magician. <laughs> Groupie, uh, I remember Vanessa G. She was with oh, me yeah. when I developed my signature trick. Okay, right. Vanessa G. You mean the Burlington Throat Factory? Oh, we First remember her. First time that someone pulled their own phone number from behind your ear, and you're freshly divorced. You are very charmed by a small amount of whimsy. Oh. You're supposed to put your legs behind your ears, not find a coin behind your ears. Nessa, oh. come on! Oh God. The only common denominator was that they just kept making me disappear. Here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can we get the crickets, please? <laughs> Don't do that to me. Don't you dare cricket me right now. <laughs> oh, applause. Okay. She gets applause. Okay. Can we at least get a rude dude? <laughs> yeah. There's so many jokes here. Like, Roper. There he is. <laughs> that guy rules. There is a saucy, I wouldn't say magician, but performer of that ilk in Las Vegas that does puppetry with his junk. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, he can make like a hamburger, and I don't know what else. I know how to make the hamburger. Carrot Top had an Instagram video. Listen, I what? at boarding school, you pick up some penis puppetry. I know the Rolex, the what? hamburger, the snail sailboat. All right, demonstrate. Come on. I'll show you these later. Don't you worry. <laughs> what is the sailboat? Oh, I can that, figure that out involves, Rolex. That involves a lot of stretching and some inversion. And a gust of wind. <laughs> then there's also Grandpa's nose, but that one is that's a lot. <laughs> Grandpa's nose, a, a drinking a, grandpa. That's nose. a twist, a pull, and a bend over. Woo. And then it looks like an old man's nose. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Bingo Clamshell I'm would curious. like to know how many const- constitutes is a string of magicians exactly. And I'm going to say, and I'm going to try and say without crying, four. Four God magicians. Bless God <laughs> bless you, Vanessa. Vanessa would just go to the magic castle and order a Cosmo and sit at the bar and wait. <laughs> hey, baby. You don't even have to do the tricks. Yeah. I'll let you pull a rabbit pull out a trick. of trick. And I'm not talking about the anything. animal. <laughs> <laughs> I was very in need of whimsy. Oh, my God. <laughs> whimsy. Our girl needs whimsy. <laughs> this, this woman. Go to Disneyland. Oh, Jesus. Whimsy. I, uh, we'll suck for whimsy. was a very chaotic year. <laughs> <laughs> we'll suck for whimsy. Oh, poor girl. <laughs> oh, no. Oh my god. No. Uh, but yeah, one was also a balloon artist, so there was that. Uh, oh, oh god. That was the last one. That was oh. the one that broke the yeah. streak. Yeah. God so uh So like does he like take I off the condom and make like a balloon animal <laughs> ah! afterwards? And he's like, look, it's like a snow globe. Didn't make a balloon animal, <laughs> but did that bit from before where the number came from behind my ear and then that also came from behind my ear? Mm. Um and then it was just a lot of that. 
over and over. Like, it was a lot of like, oh, look, something else from behind your ear. And that was like the one bit because he was really bad at card tricks. He was really, Vanessa, really that's bad the, at card that's tricks. That's the first trick you learn. That's like entry level magician. I know. He wasn't a good one. He wasn't a good one at all. That's why it was really disappointing. That specific one anyway. Uh, yeah. He couldn't figure out a single card trick. He would panic too much and then get everything wrong the entire time. So they weren't even good magicians, Nessa? One was and she was also a burlesque dancer and she was too good for me. Oh, oh wow. wow. No, that landed hard. Yep. Nessa, yep. I feel like we should all have like a group hug afterwards yeah i think i'm gonna need it i think i think i'm gonna need it somehow i'm less concerned about Cassim wanting to blast that alien (laughs) baby than i am about these admissions (laughs) it's because i've grown past it it's because i'm healthier now now i'm married to someone that cuts our grass with a katana i (laughs) now that's whimsy didn't he also text you just like an hour ago saying i just accidentally broke my keyboard with a pair of nunchucks yes he did nunchucks that i bonked myself in the head with the other day match made in heaven you that's whimsy that's love that's whimsy that you needed (laughs) that's the show well that's the show i don't know (laughs) Where to go from that? It went from like I I try to keep it on the rails, and then now oh it's you just tried huh? Come balloon animals, and that was you. Can't say what do you mean? I tried to keep it on the rails, and then immediately quote oh. something that you did. I need a nut roll. <laughs> Quick, give them the socials and just oh get out God, of here. You guys, make What's sure you follow us. Doing? Make sure you guys follow us on our socials. Like and subscribe to us. Also, join our Discord right here down below. Or, okay, okay, you know what? Just do whatever here that they say here. Join our Discord. Talk to us. Ask us questions in there and send us Photoshop. And to send us away, Vanessa's going to catch this nut roll. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> stick around because the show's not over yet. Oh, by the way, send us some mail right there. Send it right to first. That's a new running bit. Vanessa We're just gonna keep throwing things at Nessa? We're just gonna keep throwing things at Nessa? Oh my god. Where are they going everywhere? Start throwing like freaking magic sticks or whatever at her. Okay, uh, stick around because we have the kickback stream and we're attempting to beat the Elden Ring final boss, Millennia. And if they do beat her, they're gonna try to beat the Elden Beast. Make sure you follow us on all socials. Uh, be good, don't talk to strangers. Do not repeat anything that we said today to anyone no. ever. None of it. We should probably burn this episode. None of it. Goodbye! Uh, right. I've Love been great, you. you've been Castle. Bye!